AquaDream USA presents our brand new 130 gallon all-in-one coral reef aquarium. This aquarium is one out of our new lineup of coral reef aquariums ranging from 37 gallons to 250 gallons. Today we're going to be walking through how to set one up and explaining the basics of getting started with a saltwater aquarium system. The tanks from this aquarium lineup are made of low iron, ultra clear rimless glass, allowing for a very modern, sleek look with great viewing angles into your aquarium. This glass is made to be more corrosion and scratch resistant than acrylic glass typically found in other aquariums. Each all-in-one aquarium also comes with a cabinet stand with a clean looking matte black or matte white finish. Within the stand for each model also comes a sump system and pipes. Each sump will come with a variety of compartments that varies slightly from model to model. Each model, however, will include a sump compartment able to fit a protein skimmer, an essential component to coral reef aquarium filtration that may be purchased separately from us. This lineup of aquariums is perfect for anyone from a beginner to a seasoned aquarium enthusiast. Our all-in-one approach streamlines the aquarium process so you can spend more time focusing on the hobby you love. Our aquariums come shipped in two wooden crates to ensure the safety of your product. One for the pre-assembled stand and one for the tank. If you purchase one of our bigger tank models, please have a prepared solution for placing and setting up your aquarium in your home. While we do offer liftgate services to help the aquariums be unloaded from freight shippers, the placement of your aquarium in your home will be up to you. These wooden crates are sealed tight to help ensure the safety of your product. We recommend using tools such as a hammer, screwdriver, gloves, and protective glasses to uncrate your aquarium. Use these tools to pop off the top of each crate. Then, depending on what is ideal for your situation, you can remove one or all of the walls of the crate to then slide out your aquarium into the desired location. Once you've uncrated your cabinet and tank, simply place the tank on top of the cabinet. Our new reef models feature a foam leveling mat on top of the cabinet to help safely secure your tank without worrying of scratching it. If you purchase a reef model that is 100 gallons or larger, you will have two cabinet sections, one for your sump system and one for general storage. Now let's get started on installing the plumbing. Within your stand, the following products will be packaged in. Your sump system, filter sock holders, three pipes, an auto top off chamber, and sump system covers. Installing your sump is simple. Start by placing your sump inside your cabinet, ensuring that the side with windows is facing outward. Before installing your pipes, please ensure that there are O-rings in your connecting pipe pieces, as these will prevent water leakage. We recommend starting by unscrewing the top connecting piece of each pipe and connecting the disconnected pieces to the connectors underneath the tank's overflow. Start with the smallest pipe on the leftmost outflow connector. Once your piping is all securely connected, you are free to add your sump coverings, though adding these is optional. Next, we are going to add the top off reservoir. Within your sump's return chamber, there is a mini buoy that will allow water to flow from the top-off chamber when the sump's water level gets too low. Use the tube attached to the buoy holder and connect that to the piping at the outer corner of the top-off chamber. Now your basic sump setup is complete. You can add in filter media, protein skimmers, or whatever your aquarium setup may require. You will also need to add a return water pump to make the sump system functional. Return pumps in a variety of sizes can be purchased separately from us. And that concludes the initial installation process of our new Coral Reef Aquarium. We'll now go over the process of beginning to set up your aquarium, adding in salt water, and the basics of starting a saltwater aquarium system. 
while we will go over some of the important steps to getting started. We always recommend doing your own research to ensure that you're doing whatever may be best for your own aquarium setup. Before we make and add in the salt water, there are a couple of other important initial steps to get started. First, let's begin by adding in our sand and live rock. For our setup, we'll begin by adding in the live rock directly on top of the tank glass. Set up your rock in a way that's stable and visually appealing. It's also recommended to try and set up your rock in a way that offers little crevices and caves for your fish to be able to hide in, as this not only mimics the natural environment many of these fish come from, but also offers them an escape from being directly exposed if they ever feel the need to hide away for a while. It's also recommended to use aquarium-safe glue to keep your rocks together if you're making structures that may be prone to falling apart. After our rocks are done, we'll need to add in our sand. Putting in the sand after the rock helps ensure the stability of our rock, as we don't want any of them falling and potentially hurting the fish. We'll keep our sand at about an inch of thickness, as deeper sand is usually more difficult to clean. Now let's get on to making and adding in salt water. There are a couple different solutions to filling your tank with salt water. You can either buy pre-made salt water from your local fish store, or you can make it yourself. While buying pre-made is easier, it is also more costly in the long run. If you are filling up a bigger aquarium system, transporting the water can also be a constraint. Making your own salt water requires a higher initial cost investment and a bit more involvement to make, but it'll be much more cost effective in the long run. Today, we're going to be making our own salt water to fill our aquarium with. Making your own salt water isn't that difficult and just requires a few simple pieces of equipment to get you going. You're going to need a large container, a water pump powerhead, an aquarium heater, a salinity refractometer, reef salt mix, and a thermometer. You are also going to need either RODI water or a RODI filter unit to make the filtered water yourself. We would recommend making the initial investment of buying the filter unit itself to save yourself time and money in the long run. Start by filling your container with your RODI water. Using RODI water is an essential part of the salt making process as water from the tap may not be filtered enough to safely keep corals and fish. Please also ensure that your container is new and was not used for storing anything else, such as oil or paint, as trace amounts of these can be harmful to your tank ecosystem. Next, we'll add in a power head and a heater before adding in the salt. Adding in the power head helps circulate the salt so that it dissolves easier and more evenly, and the heater also helps the salt dissolve more quickly. Next, we'll begin to add in the salt. Please ensure that you're adding salt specifically for marine aquarium systems, as this salt also has minerals and other elements vital for maintaining a saltwater aquarium. Generally, the ratio of salt to water will be about a half a cup per gallon of water, but please always refer to the instructions given with your aquarium salt for proper ratios. The mixing instructions included with your aquarium salt should also state how long to mix your salt for, it will likely be for an hour or two. Gradually add salt to the water, and always add the salt to the water and not the other way around. Putting salt in your container first can result in the salt water not mixing properly. After you've properly mixed your salt water as per your reef salt mixing instructions, it's time to double check the salinity of your newly made salt water mixture. For this, we'll use a refractometer. Be sure to follow any included instructions for your exact model of refractometer, but generally it'll work by adding in a drop or two of your salt water mixture and either peering through a viewfinder or looking at an electronic display to track the salinity of your water. The proper salinity level will be 32 to 35 parts per thousand. If your refractometer is reading lower, add in a bit more salt. If it's reading higher, add in a bit more RODI water to dilute the salt a little bit. Checking your salinity level is incredibly important, as imbalanced salt water may hurt or even kill your livestock. Once the salt water is ready, we'll finally add it into our aquarium. Now the full initial setup of our saltwater aquarium is complete. You'll want to allow your aquarium water to cycle for three to six weeks and keep an eye on how the bacteria may or may not be flourishing within your tank by keeping tabs on the aquarium chemistry with proper equipment. After that, livestock can be gradually added in. 
There are many complexities and nuances to starting and maintaining a saltwater aquarium that we were not able to get into in this video. So as always, do your research for what may be best for your own setup. This setup guide should give you a good start on the basics of what it's like starting a saltwater aquarium system. Stay posted on videos and blogs from us on how to start, maintain, and grow your perfect saltwater coral reef aquarium. Check out our website for aquarium supplies such as lighting and filtration systems. If you have questions, please feel free to contact us through our website at aquadreamusa.com.